I keep trying to look serious when the goddamn video start, man. How's everybody doing, man? Hope y'all doing well. This video is not going to... I'm going to try to make this not offend nobody. This is for everybody who's starting school. You could have already started school. You could have... Uh, maybe you start next week. Now... I didn't want to make this an advice video because my mentality is advice ain't never did shit for nobody. This is going to be the top five, not things you should do, not things you should probably suggest do. This is the shit that you need to do in this world. Well, particularly in school, right? You could be a senior. You could be, this could be your last year of middle school. I don't care. It doesn't matter where you are in schooling. This video is going to help everybody. Now, these are going to be the five commandments, not suggestions, not none of that. These are the five commandments or the five amendments, whatever they should call this shit in the constitution, right? Number one. Number one thing you need to do in school, high school, college, whatever. This this is gonna be for high school. Drop your ass, god damn it. Drop your ass out and get a mother cracking GED. I'm saying this because as y'all should know by now, everything, your whole life is a lie. Your whole life has been a lie to this point. And what the fuck make you think that high school is going to be any different? High school a scam. And after when you get into these real, the real world, these jobs is all scams, right? We all just working to build another nigga empire to make another nigga dream possible. Who's working on our dreams? Nobody's doing the shit. So drop your ass out and get a GED. I wish somebody could tell me could have told me how easy the shit was and i wish somebody told me how much more sense it makes now let's hypothetically say you know you got friends and all that you got friends from your previous school year and you know y'all cool or maybe you a dude and you just want to talk to some bitches those are the only scenarios in which I would recommend actually following through with your schooling. Other than that, drop your ass out. Get a GED. Quit the bullshit. Quit the nonsense. Quit the lies. Because in these, high, in these job applications, a lot of the times, the shit that is going to be within your community and within your reach once you graduate, it's not going to have to require a high school diploma. What does bagging groceries at Walmart or Publix, whatever, what does any of it have to... You're not going to need that diploma. I'm telling you. You're going to need it if you want to um, go to college. But that's literally it. If you want to benefit your community and benefit what's around you, you are not going to directly need that. There are billionaires and millionaires who ain't never graduated high school. They got their GED. Or probably not even that. Right? So, you know, look through the program and look through the BS. Look through all the lies you've been taught for the last 13 or 18 grade levels. And accept the fact that not only are you not going to use most of the shit that you learned. But it's not going to... It's not going to really help you in the long run. And if y'all don't believe me, just come back to this video once you graduate. Uh, I got my notes here. This video is not going to be that long. Probably I'm going to make try to make this like 10 minutes type shit. Plus my phone on 10%. Number two. And this is very important. Be useful to everybody in your school, in your friend group, in your class. Do not be the nigga who is too good to talk to every anybody. Do not be the motherfucker who thought he was too cool to do all this shit. Provide as much value as you can. Guys, look, let me ask y'all a simple question. 
Would you rather be used or useless? This is a, this is a fire ass pool area. Guys, guys, this is gonna be quick. Look at this pool area, man. Ain't this shit beautiful? It's like, God, ain't. What's the simple question, guys? What would you rather be, used or useless? To your friend group, you need to, I'm not saying you need to know exactly what you want to do, but high school is a perfect place to buy your ass some time to figure out what the hell you want to do in this world. It's the perfect place to buy your ass time. What am I going to do? Don't worry about the how. Just worry about the what. What service are you going to provide? What product? What are you going to do to maintain yourself, maintain your livelihood, etc.? Have a product or a service. Don't just have a vague generalization and get your ass into a college not really knowing what you want to do and expect to figure it out. You need to figure that shit out. Period. You need to know what you want to do and know how the hell you're going to do it. I got my notes here. Y'all know how it is. I, sometimes I don't even know my own goddamn handwriting. Number three, stay consistent. Quick question. Have y'all ever encountered a YouTuber? It could have been a music artist. It could have been an actor. It could have been a dancer. Wh whoever. Maybe they posted um, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Have you ever looked at when's when let me ask you something when was the last time they posted we all have somebody the last time they posted nine months ago last song they posted one year ago last uh instagram thing they posted two years ago your ass need to stay consistent consistency is so so important because everybody is falling the fuck off. Music artists, um, rappers, singers, dancers, everybody who thought they was passionate about the shit that they was doing. When push came to shove, they was not as passionate ab about the shit as they probably thought they were. Right? So, I urge y'all to stay consistent out here. Because it's so easy to get lost in the sauce. And you won't even know why. But the truth is not every... Guys, if y'all had a favorite YouTuber and they ain't posted in six months or a year, just know the shit not for them. They probably thought it was. They probably had everything figured out, but turned when push came to shove, they, they ain't had shit figured out. Right? So always stay consistent in this bitch. And if you fall off with something or you or you uh, think that something is your passion and you have the mindset of, oh, I just need to make money doing this shit, you're not going to want to do it for a long time, bro. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Because you have that goal deep down. You, you, you don't have the fire. You don't have the passion for this shit, right? And everything around you exists because a motherfucker was, was passionate about it, right? So, understand that shit. Always stay consistent. Don't get lost in these sauces. It's so easy to get lost out here, right? Number four is girls. I just put the word girls because I, um, I really don't know. I mean, I know, I, I know, um, like how you should go about it but my thing is if you, if it's the year tw I'm what I'm recording this in 2024 if you this late in the game you a teenager what have you and you still don't know how to talk to girls are you still scared of girls at this point in humanity I really don't know what to tell you man all I I want to say go gay but I really don't know what to tell you at this point. Like, these women are not going to eat you. Unless you want them to, of course. But do not be afraid of these females. 
the worst she can do is say no and cuss you out. And guess what? Every time you ask a bitch out, the next one is gonna, the next one is gonna reject you again. And she's gonna reject you, and the next bitch is gonna reject you, and after that, and after that, and after that, but there is gonna be one girl who's gonna say yes. Sometimes people get it on the first try. Don't worry about, don't worry about those motherfuckers. Because when you worry about other motherfuckers, it only, you only down in yourself. And giving yourself a, a inferiority complex. Sorry to use big words, but that's what it is. Right? So, understand that when you are in high school, you are not entitled to no girl. So, if you do ask her out, and you do do all these things, there's a high percent chance she's going to... If she look good, and she got a fat bubble honey... honey honey bomb booty just know there's a good chance she, she probably got other niggas in her dm as we speak and they see that ass and you see that ass and now you at odds just know if you ask a girl out and you think she's all cute and innocent and all this no bitch is innocent out here bro i'm sorry that girl is gonna cheat on you and she's not gonna feel bad about about it she probably gonna feel bad but get over the shit right so enter the mindset of i already know she's gonna cheat on me let me just have fun in this relationship while it lasts let me just do this shit and live for the moment because motherfuckers end up end up taking this high school heartache shit too serious and they end up doing crazy shit killing the bitch for what stalking the bitch for what my sister uh went through a stalking situation for what <laughs> motherfuckers is like that's why i just said girls man like pay attention to your feelings and don't let your control your emotions out here and this perfectly um wraps up with my last point don't take shit from nobody. Do not take shit from anybody. Do not be afraid to get expelled. Do not be afraid to get exposed. Guys, everything will be revealed at the end of the day. So if you got secrets, if you got demons and skeletons in the closet, everything will come to light at the end of the, end, end of the day. So do not be afraid of to get expelled, to get cussed, cussed out do not be afraid of none of these people none of these niggas in high school is as cool as they seem they whole job is to make it seem like they they every high schooler is trying to look as cool and as gangster as possible everybody's trying to be like bro this shit lying bro this shit like well if you had a black school i don't know how it is i don't know what's the equivalent of that in a white school but hopefully y'all get what I'm saying. Everybody's going to have their own little groups, own little cliques. You got the bitches with chlamydia. You got the bitches with yeast infection. You got the emo kids who cut their wrists open with broken up chicken bones. You got every type of group. And you are not going to get along with everybody. You're going to be at odds with other niggas and other cliques. You cannot let these niggas get under your skin. When I was young, I was so afraid of getting ex suspended and expelled. I thought that if I get suspended once, then I'll never be able to find a job, go to cop. Nobody give a fuck about that shit. Knock that nigga out. Blah, 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 blah. Knock that nigga out, man. Quit being a little bitch. Start knocking these niggas out, bro. If a motherfucker, if a motherfucker try your ass, nigga, I don't care. Act autistic. Act like the most retarded nigga on the planet. Act like you retarded. Just don't be a bitch made dude out here. Just don't be a bitch made dude. That's all I ask of you.
Don't let nobody play you for, for a punk. Because everybody in high, these high schools is actors. None of these niggas is really about that life for real. None of them. I promise you. I promise you. Until you see a nigga with a gun in his backpack about to shoot some niggas. That's tough. That's tough. Because even even the even white schools have the have that same issue. But unless you see a nigga with a gun in his backpack, do not be afraid of nobody. Act like the craziest motherfucker in the world. If a motherfucker try your ass, knock his head, knock that nigga head into every damn locker room in the damn uh, hallway. Knock his head into every damn hallway. You're going to get expelled. You're going to get, uh, I was about to say expected. You're going to get suspended. You're going to get uh, probably scolded. You're going to miss weeks of school. But I guarantee you that nigga ain't going to try you again. If you a female, I guarantee you that bitch ain't going to try you again. These was my five commandments for back to school. Five amendments, whatever you want to call this shit. This isn't advice. This isn't suggestions. This isn't urging you to do these things. These are things that you need to do. Get your GED. And if you don't want to get your GED, know your service. Know your product. Know what you want to do. Provide value. I know a dude, named, his name was Caleb Vitalis. In high school, he was making sandwiches. In high school, he was doing all these uh, great things. But he didn't stay consistent with this shit. Now he working. I, I, I don't know what he's doing now. He's not. He, di he didn't maintain that momentum once he graduated. And he could have been. He could have been great. So stay consistent. Know your product. Stay consistent. Don't let these hoes the, the, get to you. If you a female, don't let these niggas get to you. Because a lot of y'all want to give it, give it up for give up the poop, the punani. To a nigga who ain't shit. A nigga who... He probably... You probably think he cool. You probably think he a gangster. But as I said, everybody putting on a mask. Everybody putting on a front. Don't be afraid of nobody. And finally, know your clique. Know who you want to get along with. And... Don't let nobody fuck with you. Period. With that being said, this was God Talk. Swear for God, I'm signing out, bro. Peace.